Welcome back to Chrisman Garage. We got my dad's 1986 Ford F-150 here today with the 351 small block in it. Clean old truck. He takes a lot of pride in this thing. But anyhow, he put some new tires on it. Looks like we got some uh, 245 60R15s on the front. And we got some 295 50R15s on the back and um he wants to bring the fender well down a couple inches and i think he's right i think that uh it'll look good if we lower it just a little bit we're not going to slam it on the ground but we might take a coil or so off the front we're going to try to take a leaf spring out of the back and get her a little bit closer to the ground mm -hmm. Before we get started on this, I want to document kind of what fender well space we're looking at. Five and a half. Top of the tire, top of the fender is five and a half. Front, top of the tire to the fender is five and a half on the back. So she's setting, well, I might give that a, a five and five eighths. It might be a just a tickle higher in the back. But we're going to try to take a leaf out. Looks like we've got four leaves in the back we might take one out see if we can let her sag a little bit and um bring this down maybe right about here we'll take a little bit out of the front and see what happens it's going to be a little trial and error but we're going to mess with it carry y'all along for the ride all right first thing we're going to do is we're going to pb blast all the bolts that we're going to be taking out it's always a good thing to do All right, I'm just going to explain to y'all kind of what I'm doing. When you want to lower the, uh, the front of a truck or a car for anything for that matter, what you want to do is you want to reduce your spring size and let the suspension come up and that brings the body down. Um, but in, in doing that, you change the geometry on your front end. You need to get your front end aligned and all this, that, and other. So what we're going to do is try undo our spring right here maybe cut a round off or so, and I'm gonna put it back in there. Um, that's gonna let the front of the truck sag down some, and we're gonna get our front end aligned back up. Now your, your newer model Fords, the, the actual adjusting shim is up top. This is an 86 model, the old bull nose. It's, um, the adjusting shim is on the, on the bottom here, and this is like an eccentric cam, and we're gonna loosen this up, take this off, try to line the front end up after we get it sitting where we want it. So in the back, some people will put lowering shackles up there, but I don't like doing too much lowering shackles so you get real close to the to the bed up there. So what we're gonna do is I found works good. If, if you flip the whole rear end, and that means put the rear end from the underneath the springs to on top of the springs, I mean, you lower it a whole lot. And we don't wanna go that much. So I'm going to take this helper spring off the bottom. And um, we, we might lower it maybe inch and a half, two inch by taking the helper spring off. We'll find out. If we need to take another one off, we will if we don't achieve the look that we want. So we're going to start by taking just a, a leaf spring out. And that just involves loosening up these. You had to break this pin loose. It's going through. Sometimes they're riveted together. You had to cut it off. Sometimes there's just a bolt in there. I feel like it's probably going to be rusted up either way. So when we take these off, I've got new new shackles, I mean, um, new U-bolts just in case we need them. But that's basically what we're going for here, guys. We only want to lower it maybe two inches front and back. Just get it sitting down a little bit closer to the tire so he doesn't have so much fender well space. And uh, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I'm just going to kind of jump through some of these steps and um, 
and let y'all see the finished product. Well, on the front here, it's an inch and an eighth wrench. And we might be able to get on it with a socket and a ratchet. We're going to try to break it loose. We just want to break this loose. We could take it all the way off, but I'm, I'm not going to. Reason being, because I think I can cut the spring right where it's at. Some people will just heat the spring up. I personally don't like doing that because you can mess up really bad heating it up. If we cut it, we cut both sides at the same place. We know that both sides are going to be the exact same height. We're going to change it the same amount. So that's where we're at. See, all I, did was all I did was loosen it up enough where this washer down here is loose. So we should be able to, when I take this, when I take this top bolt out, we should be able to kind of move that spring around a little bit. That's the plan. a half inch up there by the way fellas now looks like the sway bars probably got it in a little bit of a bind which that's an unusual setup get up right there i'm hoping mm, geez i think the shock might have it i'm trying to took the big shock bolt out, 18 front and back, that's all it was right there, nice and clean looking, now let's see if she comes down a little bit further, that's what I wanted to do, what's she look like now, oh yeah, see, spring popped right on out, we got the spring popped out. Now we can decide where we want to cut it at. And we'll set it right back up in there. Might cut it. I normally start with, with one round. We'll cut one round off of it. And we'll see how much um, that goes. And uh, set it back on the ground and go from there. I'm going to go one complete round right in front of that. That's where I'm going to cut both sides. Let's see how that works. Make sure you get your safety glasses on. Earplugs. Sometimes it can get loud. she went all right oh yeah that's gonna bring her on down we're gonna put it right back up in that place right about there so let's jack it back up and see if we can get the, the clamp back on it all right we're gonna make a new bracket for that to hold it in place better but i've just got that temporary because i may have to cut some more off of it and i'm not sure which angle it's gonna be so we're gonna probably have to extend this bracket or either heat that spring up in that one little spot and fold it around because the factory spring as you can see was folded around so we may have to fold that one around but that's okay it's not a big deal 
I don't want to go too much. I'd rather go a little bit at a time so that we don't go too far. So We're going to do the other side now. We're going to let the front end down and see where she sits at. All right, while we got this thing up in the air, before we let it down and check it, I want to, we're gonna go on and take a leaf out of the back. Once you get these off, They are hot. Make sure you have a jack on your end. There you go. Not that bad. Half the trucks are still made out of steel. Just take that plate right off. That's the way it went. Looks like it's going to be a 9 16th right there. Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad to do. Get on that with a pair of vice grips. We'll take this, this bottom spring off and see where she goes to. Alright, she's 15. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get there's like a stud down there. Get on that with a pair of vice grips. Get on the top. Oh ratchet. Yeah. like that. We're going to jack up on the leaf spring so we can get that bolt out. I think she'll come out right there. What do you fellas think? She'll come out. There she is. Look at that. Now, there we go. Pull the helper spring out. Like that. Uh, we're probably going to have to get a shorter bolt. All right, now that was a metric like stud bolt it doesn't even have a looks like an allen but it's not it's round with nothing on it it was metric this is the 3 8 bolt and the 3 8 bolt the head of the 3 8 bolt is going to fit in there perfect so we got one that's a little bit shorter we jack her up like that i'm gonna put the 3 8 bolt on it Make sure that it goes together like it should. We're gonna tighten this up. We're gonna bring it back up and see see where it uh, where it brings us. We know it's gonna lower it at least half an inch because that's how thick that spring was. But it's gonna even make it softer, so it should come up even more than that. So we'll see how much that does. If we need to come back and take this next spring out, we can do that too. I'm not scared to do that. So. Um, I'm going to do the other side. We're going to get the other side of the spring cut on the front. We're going to set it all down to see where we're at, and then we're going to make a game plan for if we want to go further, or hopefully we didn't go too far. All right, this is what we've done. We have took one full round and a half a round off. We had to take the top of the spring and heat it up. You can see where it's a different color there and fold it over kind of like a D-shape, like a stock spring, so we could get that little clamp back on there. That lowered the front approximately two inches. We went from five and a half 
to about three and a half in here. And it's gonna set a little more. I think it's gonna look really good. On um, the back, we took a leaf out and it didn't do it quite justice. I got it jacked up down, that's why it looks so high. But um, I'm in the process of making shackles for the back. I'm fixing to show you them. We turned the adjustment for the camber bushings all the way out and we're a half a degree positive. So we're, we're within tolerance for the camber adjustment also. So I'm real excited about that. We're gonna probably fine tune it after we drive it some. But as you can see, she's sitting a lot lower in the front and we're gonna get the back straight here in just a second. Now what I've done for the back, as you can see, I've got, I've got the shackle unhooked right here. We're gonna raise this up two inches. What I did was I welded some plate steel. You can buy these things for like 30 bucks online. I didn't have time to wait for them, so. But um, I welded this on there. You see, I moved the hole exactly two inches, center to center. And that's from where this is at, where it stopped to here is two inches. And that's all the room you have in there before it hits the bottom of the bed. So that's about all we can get. I'm hoping it drops the back about an inch and a half, two inches. I'm gonna put them in and um, I'll show y'all what the finished product looks like. All right, fellas, there you have it. Fender well space ended up being three and a half in the front, four in the back. That's two inch lower in shackles with one leaf pulled out of the back and approximately one and a half rounds of coils cut off the front. And we had to heat up the old spring and bend her into a D shape so she'd go back up in that thing that I showed you. So we took the, the camber shims and took them from all the way one adjustment to whoop, all the way around to the other side. That gave us about a half a degree of positive. So it's standing up a little bit, but we're thinking it's gonna settle down. So we're gonna leave that alone, drive it for a little while and see where she goes. But she's got a lot better stance to her. I like it. I'll show you some pictures of it outside. Thank you all for watching. Remember, till next time, if she's giving trouble, she's going to the bad. Thank you.